this is Kate with the St. Louis Science Center and the Science Off Center team, here with another fun at-home science experiment that you can do. Today we're going to talk about three different kinds of rocks, sedimentary, igneous, and metamorphic. For this experiment, you will need some crayons. I like to use old crayons that are, you know, cut into bits, and then you can shave them like this. There's some large chunks, some small, some small shavings. You can shave them with a uh, um, pair of scissors or a knife. Make sure you get an adult to help you with that. Then you're also going to need some cupcake liners and cupcake tins. And our heat source today, I chose to use a toaster oven. To get us started, what I did was to look at some rocks. This is a sedimentary rock. You can see that there are distinct layers inside of there. And when I translated this into our crayon experiment, I chose to do a thick layer of pink crayons and on top of that, a thick layer of orange crayons. Sedimentary rocks are created when sediments settle at the bottom of a lake or something like that. So let's look at our crayon example. It turned out pretty well. You can see the layers, pink on the bottom, orange on the top, and if we break it even, you can see those layers as well. So that's our sedimentary rock made of settlements. Then the second. Next, we're going to talk about igneous rocks. Igneous rocks are formed from cooled lava. This is a very light type of rock. It's got a lot of bubbles in it, and I have melted down our crayon. It turned into a liquid, and it turned into a solid rock. So cooled liquid, cooled lava, turning into a rock. That is our igneous rock. Lastly, we have metamorphic rock. This is actually a slab of marble from a countertop. Um, through lots of heat and pressure, this is made, and it uses lots of different types of rocks to make something completely new. So I decided to have different colors and with heat from my toaster oven, make it look like a metamorphic rock. Try this experiment at home. You can do lots of different versions of this with crayons. Let us know your results at scienceoffcenter.org.